How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another video. I've actually got another video on the channel. I just want to put my arms up because I'm actually feeling good today. Uh, last three days, withdrawal symptoms. Madness. I could hear noises in my brain. They're called brain zaps. If you want to Google that, you Google that. It sounds bizarre, but it is what it is. Apparently, it doesn't damage your brain or anything like that. But I was cutting off medication and I think it was too soon. Um, I, 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 I got messed up, basically. But uh, we're, we're okay now. We're back to a normal dosage sort of thing. And it's like... Balance everything out. I'm feeling great, feeling fantastic, and I'm feeling like I can actually make a video. That's why I thought the other day on Twitter that it was going to be my last. I wasn't going to make any more content, basically, until FIFA 23 dropped. But we're back on 22, and Alexis Sanchez has a brand new card. Five star skills, four star weak foot, height, low work rates. He's small. I'm taller than Alexis Sanchez, man. I'm five foot eight and a half. That matters. He's five foot six, so I'm basically a better player than him, to be honest. But these stats are nuts. You look across the stats of Meta on this game, Alexis Sanchez would pop up. Honestly, if you Google Meta, uh, what stats would be Meta for a player, the heights, the body type, this, that, the other, this guy would pop up right on your screen. Of course, he doesn't have a five-star weak foot, but I said, time, time, and time again, it's not necess like a, a necessity, you know what I'm saying? He's got 98 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. I left the basic chem style on him, gives him a plus two on sprint speed and boosts certain other areas of his game, which... Um, you're not really going to notice anyways, to be honest. But, hey, this card is brilliant statistically. Uh, 98 attack position, 98 finishing, and 99 shot power, long shots, and volleys with 92 penalties. His shooting category is one of the most stacked categories we've seen on this game. Passing-wise, he's got the vision. He's got the crossing. If he does drift out in a wide area. Uh, free kicks, he's got a good stat on there with 90. Short pass, yes. Long pass, 96. And curve of 95. This guy can also create. Uh, a lot of strikers on this game. You get the strikers that like, yeah, I'm just going to play striker, striker, and nothing but striker. But you get these versatile players that we've seen in recent weeks. Mane, the baller, Alexis Sanchez, uh, that could actually play in different positions in the attack. So that's fantastic. Dribbling, also, yes. Composure a little bit low, 93, to be honest. But that doesn't matter. Does not matter. I mean, I say a little bit low. For this stage in the game, it's low. For other stages in the game, it is utter upper echelon. 99 agility, 99 balance, 97 ball control with 96 reactions, and uh, 98 dribble. His aggression is there at 90, strength 93, stamina 96, a jump at 99. He's actually got a sensational leap on him for someone that's 5 foot 6. Uh, traits, finesse shot, flare outside the foot shots. So if you're going to cut him from the left hand side, finesse shot. If you're going to cut him from the right hand side, use the outside of foot shot, get in a position to bend it like Beckham. This is outside of foot. You know what I'm saying? But lads, let's jump into gameplay. Let's see how he did last night. So here we go in to the gameplay. You might be wondering as well, Marshall, you're fine now. Why didn't this video come out last night? I was still recovering last night. Yesterday, the ambulance was at my house. I didn't ask for an ambulance. It was just got suggested to me to, to give us a one silver because like GPs around here in the countryside, they're closed uh, on weekends. Madness, I tell you. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm fine now. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling like I can actually make videos without hearing random noise in my head. The brain zaps are mental, mate. Yeah, tss, tss, tss. like what the hell is that? It doesn't even make sense. Apparently it's electric. You can hear the electric in your brain, basically. But um, you're gonna see Sanchez. By the way, you see that leap there from Sanchez? The guy's like, um, basically a frog that's been kicked up the arse. Uh, obviously he's small, but he's got a decent leap on him. And then he gets extra height from somewhere. I think it's an invisible man just kicking him over the backside. Go for the chip there, good save by the keeper. But you're noticing already, he's getting in those positions where he's going to be dangerous. Getting the positions where I can either go on a dribble, cut it back, have a randy shot from distance. And he's just getting into those areas, you know what I'm saying? Great save by the keeper there. I, I smashed that. That was like 99 shot power and then some. Uh, good save by the keeper. But uh, you haven't seen any goals yet, I don't believe. Here comes the first one. We've got the ball. Who was on the ball there? Anyways, it's Sanchez now. And that is a nice little chip over the keeper. Keeper was coming off his line just, like, slightly. And I thought, you know what? Put this over the keeper, it's going to go in. And it did. I'm a genius when it comes to that. Uh, but not quite, obviously. Uh, good finish by Sanchez, and that was the start of his goal scoring last night. I thought this card was utterly sensational, and what he did bring to the table. And you're saying, Marshall, what did he bring to the table? It's in writing on the left-hand side of your screen, boys. Uh, he's got pace in abundance, which, I mean, every card at this stage in the game does. You know what I'm saying? But the pace is quite pointless if you don't have good movement off the ball. He's got sensational movement off the ball. You can see movement on the pros as well. He's making the right runs. Now, you're going to have this with pretty much every car that's come out recently because they've all got high-low work rates. Have you noticed that as well? Um, I think Dybala had it. Mane had it. Um, 
Who else have we had recently, guys? They've all seemed to have high-low work rates for the attackers, which is basically, you stay on the last man. You don't drop too far in the field, you just stay on the last man and do the business there. And Alexis Sanchez definitely does that. He's also got, like, the... The AI intelligence, so to speak. I'm not talking about iRobot, but he's got the AI intelligence to know when to drop back sometimes to receive the pass, which a lot of people don't on this game. It just is what it is. Especially got high-low work rates and just still on the last man. It's like, yeah, I'm not offering myself for the pass. Just put a through ball in, you know what I'm saying? But Alexis Sanchez is very smart with that. Very smart with that. And he'll he'll make himself available for passing the deeper areas you see him right there just like falling off the striker even though we're playing with two strikers he, he came off the striker there give Messi a chance to make the running behind place the pass because his creativity is fantastic as well wonder about his passing his like assist and stuff that he could get with his card yes um that would be the answer to that again he's dropped off a little bit deeper here good footwork from himself uh, I do get challenged but I think I'll score at the end of this as well with Alexis Sanchez or I will get the assist the ball comes into Sanchez Pass over the soap. Dude, dude. You see how sick that volley was? Uh, the pass into Sanchez, obviously was into Sanchez. The pass came from Di Maria into Sanchez. Chest control volley. Good night. You know, that's like a knockout in the boxing. A Nissan Gabe. What a legend, mate. Knocked out McBroom. My man, my man. Anyways, pros. Pace, shooting. Shooting's incredible. Uh, obviously, you would have seen quite a few chances missed at the start. I was getting... My range, so to speak, uh, getting used to these cards. But um, he's got a great finish on him. Once um, you have a few games of him, and you'll learn basically the do's and don'ts of the areas you shoot in, it's sensational. That was actually a low-driven as well. Don't score too many of those. Uh, five-star skills. You love these end games cards with five-star skills. A lot of people will moan that he doesn't have a five-star weak foot too. Yeah, you could do, but like, it's not the be-all and end-all, the five-star weak foot. Four-star and five-star, there's not too much disparity between the two. There really isn't. But four-star skills and then five-star skills, there's actually skills that you can't do in the four-star section. You know what I'm saying? So it does limit the card in that kind of sense as we do score our final goal with Alexis Sanchez. And of course, the dribbling, utterly sensational. That being said, summary time. So there we have it, lads. That was Mr. Alexis Sanchez moving from Inter Milan this summer to Marseille. He's in Liga, uh, uh, Liga of course. And uh, you can link him up with the likes of Messi's, Benyedda's, uh, Neymar's, the whole like shebang of players within the league on Renato Sanchez as well. So the similar cards, I actually missed the high-low work rate player. I think also still has high-low work rates. There's a lot of high-low work rates coming out. Julian Alvarez does have high-low as well. So again, very interesting how we're getting like a massive batch of high-low work rate players right now. But anyways, four games played last night, four goals, one assist. Might not look good on paper, but you've seen by the gameplay, he's utterly tremendous at what he does do. And, uh, yeah, a brilliant player for this stage in the game, which you've got to expect. Any player that comes out in September, two weeks before the game's release, has to be utterly insane. And, hey, fair dues, Sanchez is insane. That's why I'm like, it's the end of the game, why am I still doing reviews, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I want to keep this content up until 23 drops, if there is any place to actually kind of feature on the channel. Uh, there will be changes when 23 drops. You guys will see that. The, the second channel will have all the graphics and stuff on it. Um, wouldn't even have my voice on it. Wouldn't even have my face on it. I know people are upset. Um, it's going to be graphics for you guys. So if you're non-English speaking, you prefer the graphics, um, you don't understand this voice, you can head over there and get all the information straight to your eyes, like visually, you know what I'm saying? And that will be pretty much every single player on FIFA 23 I use will be featured on that channel. Whether it be a goalkeeper, I just want to get the review out to you guys, my thoughts. Uh, whether it be a right back, whether it be a left back in the changing rooms, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be pretty much everyone over there. And on this channel, it's going to be live featured player content. So look forward to that. And obviously different content as well, not just reviews or features. It's going to be packs. It's going to be the whole shebang on this channel. And I'm looking forward to giving you live content. I, I really am. I'm, I can't wait for 23, man. 22? I got in a rut with this game, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, real-life events as well. It put me even further in a rut where I didn't really want to change anything. And I felt even more sorry for myself. But 23, I'm ready to hit full speed. Obviously, last few days, I've been ill as hell. I, I felt like I was in hell at times. But, um, yeah, we're back, boys. We're back. And uh, 23, I can't wait, man. I just want to get started. Just want to get started, the boys. Uh, passing, 8. Physicality, 8. He lacks... Um, like power in terms of height and stuff like a presence but he is quite like um a yorkshire terrier those little dogs uh quite vicious at sometimes they bite people in the shins 
like the, the lower knee section and Alexis Sanchez is basically that. Uh, shooting nine, dribbling nine, but it's a great player nonetheless. Similar cards, Julian Alvarez, Gabi Jesus and Raheem the Dream. Sterling, overwritten for Alexis Sanchez himself will be a 9.7. Brilliant player, brilliant moments, and if you're a Marseille fan, get him in your team. If you've got a league on team, get him in your team. There might be like, oh, who should I choose over this guy or this guy? There, there could be certain situations like that. I mean, you've got 99 Messi, you've got Wissam Ben Yedis, you've got plenty of attacking talent in the center, even like 98 Neymar. Would he beat any of those three I've just mentioned? Not in my eyes. Um, but he's cheap enough to get in any team, man. That's why the value for coins is a 10 out of 10. 1, 2, 5 on both consoles as of last night. It's probably even cheaper now. That's a bargain. Absolute bargain. Um, with all the upgrade abilities on this game right now, it's, it'll take like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And that'll probably cost you zero coins. Just use the duplicates back into Sanchez SBC. Happy days. Free Sanchez. And the enjoyment will be a 9.5 from myself. Had fun with this card, man. Had fun. First night I've been able to, like, concentrate on FIFA last night as well. Not fully. I was still ill last night, but, um, a little bit. A little bit of concentration. It goes a long way. So I do apologize for not getting videos out to you guys over the last... Wait there. I'm actually going to go check. Um, how long is it since I've dropped a video? I think it actually was... Who was it? It was just Alvarez. I think it was Alvarez. So two days, 18 hours. It's not even that bad. Uh, but I haven't dropped a video in like two days. Um, so I do apologize for that. I had major withdrawal symptoms, boys, from uh, coming off medication. So I do apologize. But, but we should be back now. And I'll get videos out for you guys. And see comments on there as well. I just haven't been able to like focus on things. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, Perisic, please, a day ago. Dude, I, I was I was, I was in land. land no, Cuckoo Land. Cloud Cuckoo Land, I think they say. I was just out of my head, basically. But thank you very much for hopefully supporting the channel and sticking by me for FIFA 22. It's been a blast, even though we haven't had the greatest year in terms of numbers, this, that, and the other. But I'm grateful for you guys for just helping me through the year, to be honest. Even if I wasn't getting the views, you guys were still here. Those, like, you guys know who you are. Like, you guys pop up in messages, uh, even discords, DMs. You guys know who you are, man, even the comments. Legends, absolute legends. You got me through this year. In 23, I'll reward that. I'll definitely reward that, man. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to bloody smash it, boys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.